I have no intentions of making a speech. I only desire to say is that I congratulate you on the favorable beginning of the work which you have made. All thanks to you. Looking back as I naturally do on the history of Wicklow, I know that you will make efficient soldiers. Efficient soldiers for what? Wicklow volunteers. In spite of the pleasant happiness and beauty of the scene in which we stand, remember, this country at this moment is at war, and your duty is a twofold duty. The duty of the manhood of Ireland is a twofold duty. Its duty is, at all costs, to defend the shores of Ireland against foreign invasion. It is a duty more than that of taking care that Irish valour proves itself. On the field of war, it has always proved itself in the past. Hooray! 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 hooray. <laughs> the interests of Ireland, of the whole of Ireland, are at stake in this war. This war is undertaken in defence of the highest principles of religion and morality and right and it would be a disgrace forever to our country and a reproach to her manhood and a denial of the lessons of her history if young Ireland confined their efforts to remaining at home to defend the shores of Ireland against an unlikely invasion and to shrinking from the duty of proving on the field of battle that gallantry and courage which has distinguished our nation all through its history. Hooray for John Redmond! Hooray! 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 I say to you, therefore, your duty is twofold. I am glad to see such magnificent material for soldiers around me. And I say to you, go on drilling and make yourselves efficient at the work and then account yourselves as men, not only in Ireland itself, but wherever the fighting line extends in defense of right, of freedom, and religion in this war! Come on, Ireland!